Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. Hey guys, I'm Kayla Wallace. I play Fiona on When Calls the Heart. So at the end of last season, Fiona, it looks like she's on her way out of Hope Valley due to her job. She was working for the telephone company and she was mistreated by one of her superiors and she stood up for herself and she actually got fired at the end of season seven. So season seven ends off with Fiona realizing she doesn't have to leave Hope Valley, which is super exciting, but she's sort of not, not lost, but she's out of work, which is her life. So it's, it, you know, it, it leaves everybody to wonder what's she going to do? What she, what is she going to start? And, and that is, I'm excited for you guys to see what she does in season eight. I love that storyline, how she stood up for herself. And that's the reason that she was fired. Like she, she's such a strong woman and that's what I love about her. So yeah, and of course, happy to stay in Hope Valley. You know, the, the scenes that really stick out to me still to this day, I love, uh, Fiona and Florence. I've said it before, but there's something about their bond that they that they shared, even in season six too. I I just love that it's two women coming together, sort of from opposite ends of the world, and they find like a really beautiful connection and support each other. So, yeah, I I think Florence and Fiona moments are my fave. Yes, um, without giving away too much, Fiona's starting a new journey, which is very exciting for her. Um, you'll get to see you'll get to see her struggle a little bit, which is cool. I like that that you know she's such a strong character that she's sort of confident in everything that she does. So you'll get to see her sort of struggle a little bit, and I like that we're showing that side of her. And yeah, you'll get to see her become closer with some characters on the show and new friendships budding too. So yeah, lots of fun stuff in this season. You guys are gonna, Hardys are just gonna love it. I, I remember reading the first two episodes and I was like, oh my gosh, so much is happening. I, I was just so excited. So can't wait for February 21st. Yes. Oh gosh. I don't think I can share exactly what happens. Um, but Fiona, she takes like a really, um, really it, like for the times out there leap of faith. And it's pretty cool. I can't give it away too much, but she, she again displays that she is a woman and nothing stopping her from doing what she wants. So there, there is a moment, but I, I won't be able to say what it is, but yes. <laughs> Definitely the fact that she, she sort of turns heads in and pushes the boundaries of what a, a woman should be doing in that time. That's probably my favorite thing about her is that she she questions things where, where at that time, women just didn't have the same rights as men did. So I love that she isn't afraid to push those boundaries and, and break through those boundaries too. So that's probably my favorite thing about her. Um, she's pretty fashionable. If I was alive in that time, I would want her wardrobe. <laughs> um, and yeah, the, the hair has been fun too. Fiona's gone through lots of hair changes. Um, it's never really been my hair, but it's, my hair has been put up in many different ways to, to give her a bunch of cool different hairstyles. So yeah, that's fun too. I 
my first I think back to like my first costume fitting yeah I had never tried clothes like that on and it's it's just it's so different and and I mean I I love that over time we've sort of developed Fiona's trend it's usually like a white top with a black little something and then a shorter skirt um but yeah trying those clothes on for the first time they can get uncomfortable like if you've had a like a big lunch <laughs> like the skirts sometimes they can get a little bit uncomfortable I couldn't imagine like always having to wear clothes like that like I'm in sweatpants right now and loving it <laughs> so um yeah it, but it's fun it's fun to dress up like that Okay, so yeah, three over three years ago, um, I I had done a Hallmark movie called Once Upon a Prince, and that was my first my first movie with Hallmark, and that was so much fun. Um, and I think about uh, I don't know if I can get my timing right, but after that movie was done. I guess Hallmark knew me from that and they were looking for this Fiona character. And I remember I had, I was, um, I, I filmed, a, was it a movie? Anyways, I was out of town for work and then I came back and I was still working at um, like my restaurant job at this time. And I remember I got back to my restaurant job for like one day and then the next, and when I was, at that shift, I got the email from my agent saying, can you be at casting tomorrow morning for this audition? Um, they sent me the character. And I remember I like looked in my closet of what I would have that would fit <laughs> the time. And I, luckily I had one like longer skirt and, and I, I did my hair sort of up cause it said in the script that she had a short hairdo. And I thought, like right off the bat, I just thought she was so much fun. My audition scene was, I don't know if you remember from season six, but Fiona's in the mercantile with Bill and, and she has some information on, I think it's Lucas. Yeah, she has some information on Lucas and Bill sort of questions her because she's a woman and she just stands up for herself and gives him some attitude right then and there. So that was the audition, one of the audition scenes, which was so much fun. But anyways, I had less than 24 hours to get this audition ready. I went at nine in the morning the next day and it was, it was just me there. And I, I, I had such a hard time with pronouncing the, Fiona speaks a bit of French in that scene. So like that was the one part of that audition that I was like, that did not go over well. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna get this. I, can, I can't I can speak French. Um, but other than that, it was really fun. And I just, yeah, I had a, I had a blast in the audition. And I heard that that same day that I got it. So um, it was a really, and then I think it was two days later, we, I was on set for the first day of my of my episode. So it was a very fast, like the fastest job I've ever <laughs> booked and went straight to camera. Yeah, I think they they had been looking, but I guess they just hadn't found the Fiona that they wanted and um yeah, I it was a very fast very fast turnaround to go like jump right into a costume fit and then go to set and I'm like still trying to figure out who this character is which was kind of fun to like develop her over time and and I mean right away the cast was all so welcoming Be, like it was such a whirlwind to, to jump into something that fast but everyone welcomed me with open arms. Yeah, I think um, I think that first season, I I like I I totally felt like the new one, and I know that Chris and Kevin can sort of relate to that too. But everyone was so nice that we all like got along. But I think like we didn't really like 
fully jump into feeling like a family until the next season. Although like season six was such a good time, but we just, yeah, we all were still getting to know each other. So I remember when we went back for season seven, it felt like, oh my gosh, this is our family. Like this is what it, this is what it feels like um, to everyone else who's been on the show for so long. So yeah, we're so lucky to have such a like great group of people as our cast. I truly, like you don't find it that often, so. I had heard of the show, but I had never watched it. So I sort of, I binged a little bit right before my audition, like that day, just so I knew what I was going into. And then once I booked it, I binged one to season five as much as I could and as fast as I could to to know what all these characters went through before I got here. So no, I was totally new to to um, Hallmark and and the show, but it's such a it's such a wonderful positive show, especially in like this this time. I'm I'm so happy to be part of something that's so uplifting and and positive. Yeah, I'm actually in a hotel right now. I'm working on another movie. Um, I don't know if I can totally say what it is. Um, it's a Christmas movie, I'll say that. But um, yeah, I've got a, I'm doing that right now. And other than that, just, you know, waiting on whatever comes next. That's sort of the name of the game in this career, so. Thank you for watching The Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.